the Triple H-led era has been dearly appreciated by the WWE Universe. A brand of entertainment focused on delivering inspired stories and top-tier professional wrestling, the game has given fans what they wanted. Under the King of Kings' creative leadership, the bloodline prospered, Cody Rhodes finished his story, and LA Knight and JUSO finally received well-deserved pushes. However, Triple H's creative regime has also seen several stars lose their pushes, including those who Vince McMahon prioritized. On that note, let's look at four WWE superstars who quickly lost their push under Triple H. 4. Shinsuke Nakamura While Shinsuke Nakamura's booking was not ideal under Vince McMahon, the former won the 2018 Men's Royal Rumble match, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, the United States Championship, and the Intercontinental Championship. The King of Strong Style was also one of the hottest acts in 2017. However, Triple H seems to have lost faith in the Japanese sensation. Nakamura's aura has taken a massive hit due to his underwhelming win-loss record. The 44-year-old star seldom wins matches, reaching a point where many consider him to be an enhancement talent. The King of Strong Style was once set to become a top star in WWE. While Mr. McMahon never pushed him to the moon, Triple H has failed to make adequate use of Shinsuke Nakamura by using him solely to put over other stars. 3. Austin Theory was once the future of WWE. Vince McMahon personally took it upon himself to make Austin Theory a massive superstar in WWE. Mr. McMahon became his on-screen mentor and Theory was placed in marquee feuds with names such as Pat McAfee. Theory also won the Money in the Bank contract and the United States Championship in the final months of Mr. McMahon's creative regime. However, the 27-year-old star's momentum took a hit once Triple H took over as the chief content officer of WWE. Things began to improve as Theory regained the United States Championship and defeated John Cena at WrestleMania 39. Unfortunately, that was the height of his career, at least until now. The remainder of his title run following the show of shows was largely underwhelming. Theory was buried by The Rock and McAfee on SmackDown last October. He soon entered the tag team division and allied with Grayson Waller. While their team has been entertaining, both men have more potential and could be used more effectively than fodder for the babyfaces. 2. Amos has been underutilized by Triple H. Vince McMahon always loved pushing larger than life superstars. Andre the Giant, Big Show, and the Great Khali all had Hall of Fame careers in WWE. It felt as if Amos was also set to receive a massive push from Mr. McMahon. Unfortunately, the Nigerian Giants' push was cut short once Mr. McMahon lost power. Triple H has sparingly used Amos. Although the seven-footer impressed in his outings with Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins, the game has struggled to give the 30-year-old star meaningful roles. Mr. McMahon paired Amos with AJ Styles and gave the Nigerian Giant a solid push. Triple H, thus far, has not shown the same level of interest. 1. Braun Breaker Braun Breaker has received a decent push under Triple H's creative regime. The big bad booty nephew received plenty of TV time to show fans his insane athleticism. Breaker also became the Intercontinental Champion by defeating Sami Zayn at SummerSlam 2024. However, Braun has all the tools to become the next Brock Lesnar in WWE. Unfortunately, he has not received the creative support necessary to fill such a role. Before he finally won the Intercontinental Championship, the 26-year-old star lost to Zayn at Money in the Bank. Breaker's title reign recently ended when Jey Uso dethroned the former during the latest episode of Raw. It seems as if he is being billed as a stepping stone for top underdog babyfaces. Braun's booking has not been underwhelming, but it could improve to give him a larger and more important role suited to his character. Triple H's era of WWE has been marked by a blend of seasoned veterans and promising up and comers injecting life into the product with long-term storytelling and character development. However, not everyone has flourished under his reign. While some wrestlers saw career resurgences or breakthroughs, others quickly lost their push and faded into the background. Here are four WWE stars who experienced a sudden loss of momentum under Triple H's leadership. 
1. Karayan Cross, from menacing return to mid-card limbo. When Karayan Cross, alongside Scarlet, made his long-anticipated return to WWE in 2022 under Triple H's management, it felt like a dream comeback. The haunting visuals and his enigmatic presence seemed like a surefire recipe for a major push. Cross was inserted directly into the main event picture, targeting Drew McIntyre and confronting Roman Reigns, a clear sign WWE had big plans for him. Fans who had long been clamoring for Cross to return to his NXT dominance were ecstatic. However, after a brief feud with McIntyre, things started to unravel. Cross found himself without clear direction, getting bogged down in short term storylines that didn't align with his brooding, apocalyptic character. His loss of steam culminated in less than stellar feuds and underwhelming matches. Soon, Cross was placed in forgettable mid card rivalries, no longer treated as a dominant force who could go toe to toe with top names. 2. LA Knight the megastar struggles to break through. L.A. Knight, with his natural charisma and undeniable mic skills, seemed destined for WWE superstardom. His swagger, catchphrases, and ability to connect with live crowds were reminiscent of legends like The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Triple H, who appreciates those with a knack for storytelling and presence, seemed like the ideal authority figure to push Knight to new heights. Initially, L.A. Knight's run after transitioning from NXT looked promising. However, as months passed, he found himself stuck in repetitive feuds and gimmicky storylines. The biggest blow came when Knight's character seemed lost in translation, was he a heel, face, or something in between? His interactions with Bray Wyatt and involvement in cryptic, cinematic matches did little to elevate his status. Although fans continued to chant for him at live events, WWE was hesitant to pull the trigger on his push, leaving Knight in a creative quagmire, not quite reaching the top card potential many had hoped for. 3. Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades loses her edge. Shayna Baszler is one of the most feared and respected competitors in WWE history. Her mixed martial arts background and dominant run in NXT under Triple H's guidance made her one of the most legitimate threats in the women's division. When Bassler was called up to the main roster, she was booked as a monstrous heel, even biting Becky Lynch's neck in a shocking segment before WrestleMania 36. Fans expected that, under Triple H's control, Bassler would reclaim her NXT glory and wreak havoc on WWE's women's division. While her tag team partnership with Ronda Rousey showed early promise, Bassler's singles push never gained the momentum it once had. After Rousey's exit and their brief feud, Bassler seemed poised for greatness again, but instead, she faded into the background. Her once menacing persona became diluted, 